20 years ago, I came across a piece of furniture that looked like it must have been on special in the 50s. It was painted white, and the legs were kind of wobbly, so I tried to tighten them up, but I couldn't even turn the screws. That means this thing is made out of hardwood. At 19 years old, I had a strong appreciation for woodworking, so I soaked the thing with a paint stripper and confirmed my suspicions this thing was solid oak. At that point, I was satisfied with knowing that I had a nice piece of furniture that I could one day restore, and so it sat in the garage for the next 20 years. The 19-year-old that laid this thing to rest in the garage didn't really have any interest in restoring it because he knew how much work it was going to be, and, well, it just didn't mean anything to him. To me, I was the 19-year-old. I don't know why I'm talking in third person, that's weird. A couple weeks ago, my mom told me that this piece was made by her grandfather, my great-grandfather. Knowing this was more than enough inspiration for me to follow through with my 19-year-old aspirations to restore the thing instead of throwing it on the burn pile. After having spent countless hours sanding and scraping on the thing, my best guess as to why the man painted it was because one of the legs has a little burnt spot in it. It tells a story. A story unknown to everyone but him. So I left it. His story, or his life story, is completely unknown to me. I know nothing about him other than he was an exceptional craftsman. I don't even know his name, but I know his work. And through this piece, we are connected through time. Happy Mother's Day, Mom, from me and your grandpa.